everyone today let us know about the project agri trade we can see the zip to file let us extract the file click on ok we can see that the file is extracting now the folder has been created and inside the folder we can see the folder agri trade which has got two zip to files let us extract the agri trade pro zip file we can see that the file is extracting and this might take some time as it includes many files so now extraction is completed we can view the folder it has got two folders database backup and source code in the database backup we can find the sql file agri trade and in the source code we can find all the php code files which is required to execute the project we have to copy the source code folder and we have to paste it in local drive c in xamp under htdocs folder this is because i have installed xamp control panel in c drive so now let us paste the source code here so we can see that the file is copying so the file has been copied now we can see the folder source code in htdocs folder and all the php files are available to view here just copy the name of the source code folder now open the xamp control panel here we have to start apache and mysql servers so these two servers are required to run our project so now we can see that the two servers are running let us open the browser so here i am using the chrome browser you can use any of the browsers type local host slash php myadmin so this will open the database mysql under databases we have to create the database name the database name must be same as the database backup file what we have so agri trade is the database backup file what we have the database name must be same as that that is agri trade should be the name of the database click on create now database has been created but there are no tables in the database uh, we can create the tables but since we already have the database backup file with us let us import it click on choose file and then we can import the folder so click on sql file and click on go so this will take some time depending on the size of the file once it is done we can see that the file has been imported and we can see all the tables of the database agri trade now open one more tab and type localhost slash and paste whatever we have copied earlier that is source code so here we can see the database agri trade so this is this will provide a profitable and convenient way for local farmers to sell their products agri trade is a web application which will help the customers as well as the farmers to sell their products as well as to purchase the products directly so this is a farmer management website or application here we can view the customer farmer and worker registration and login panels which means these three are the users of the web application as well as there is an admin who monitors the entire activities of the web page there is blogs and news in articles under blogs we can view the different informations that is required for agriculture by clicking on read more the blogs can be read by the viewers as well as the users of the web application 
as well as in the news the latest news that has been telecasted related to agriculture has been posted here this will help the farmers to know the recent policies and uh, facilities available for them regarding farming under farmers kit uh, there are various tools that are required by the farmers for the farming purposes that is available here the farmers can purchase them they can view the details and they can purchase only after they log in to the web page as well as the customers can also purchase this after they log in under farmers market the various producers that has been produced by the farmers is put up for sale here by clicking on view more we can view the produce in detail and the customers can send the purchase request only after they log into the web application and the higher here we can view the various laborers who are willing to work in the agricultural fields the farmers can send a request for these laborers by viewing their biodata my account has customer farmer and worker panel for registration and login under contact there is a contact details of the web application the viewers and the users can contact the web application let us log in as the admin so in the photo we can see click here to log in we have to enter the login id and password the default login id and password is admin and admin so once we log in we can view the dashboard which includes all the number of records present in the database under articles in blogs we can view the different blogs and in news also we can view various news that has been posted in my account under report in customer account report so here we can view the various customers that has been registered for the portal the admin has the action to edit and delete these details under farmer account report here we can view the registered farmers with all their details and the admin can edit and delete the farmers record there is a search option where the admin can search a particular farmer farmers kit product billing report here the billing report that is how many products or farmer kits has been purchased by different customers that record can be available here and each purchase bill is available to view here under farmers market produce report here the produce sales details that is the farmers have posted their producers how much has been sold by different customers or different inter farmers that can be viewed here and the farmers market produce purchase request so how many requests have been come from the customers can be viewed by the admin also this can be viewed by the farmer as well as the admin and the farmers per produce purchase bill so here after the purchase the bill can be viewed by the admin and the general settings in add admin here the admin can add the various admins to add the admin he must enter the admin name the login id of the admin the password of the admin the password must be 8 characters minimum and 16 characters of maximum length then confirm password status must be selected as active and click on submit so this will add the admin record the admin can be viewed under general settings in view admin so here the admin 
added by the admin can be viewed here and the admin can also delete or edit the details of these admins added in general settings under change my password here the admin can change the password details that is he must enter the old password new password and then the confirm password so this will change the password of the admin under add country here the admin can add the different countries while adding the country the country name must be mentioned then the description about the country must be mentioned and the status must be selected as active once the country is added this can be viewed under general settings itself in view country so here the various countries that has been added can be viewed and the admin can also edit or delete these details in general settings under add state by selecting the country the state can be added then the description about the state also must be required so description can be of any length once the description is added status must be selected as active and clicking on submit this will add the state record the state record can be viewed in general settings under view state so here the various states can be viewed to view the particular state we can view the search box and we can type so admin has the authority to edit or delete these details under general settings in add city so once we have added the state and the country we have to add the city by selecting the country followed by the state the name of the city must be mentioned once the name of the city is mentioned the description about the city must be given then the status must be selected as active so this will add the city record the city record also can be viewed by moving to general settings in view city so under view city here we can view the various city so in view city here we can view the different cities followed by entering the name of the city in the search button we can view that particular city and the admin can also edit and delete the city details in farmer settings under add produce category so here the category of the produce must be mentioned the admin must enter the category once the category is entered the image related to the category must be selected here this is because the different customers or different farmers produce different products so to differentiate it we are creating a category and based on that the farmers can upload their producers once the description is added the status must be selected as active in farmer setting under view produce category here we can view the different producers and this can be deleted also by the admin and admin can also edit the details under add produce types so here different types of producers can be added that is by selecting the category we can say what are the different types of producers are there in that particular category so now we have selected leafy vegetables under that we produce herbs 
select the image relevant to it and give the description so description is given for the better understanding of the title so once the produce record is added it can be viewed under farmer settings in view produce types so here the different produce types can be viewed here to view the particular produce type we can right click in the search box so we can see that the record what we added is available to be here and the admin can edit and delete these details under farmer settings in uh, add produce variety in add produce variety here we can see the different uh, here we can enter the different varieties of particular category and produce you have to select the category of the food then we have to select the produce and then what is the variety in that the name of the variety must be entered then description about that variety can be given then the image of the variety must be added then select the status as active and click on submit so this will add the variety record this can be viewed under farmer settings in view produce variety so different variety of producers under different categories can be viewed here so to view it in particular we can use the search box the admin also has the authority to edit and delete the records under my account in worker in view worker here the different workers that has been registered to the portal can be viewed by the admin the admin can view their bio data they can edit and delete the details of the workers and in the view worker request the different request that has been made by various farmers for the workers can be viewed here and if they have approved or rejected and all the details of the status can also be viewed by the admin and the admin can also delete the request here and by clicking on view the admin can view the conversations that has been happened between the farmer and the worker and the farmer kit in add selling product category so here the farmer kit is a category of products which which can be purchased by the farmer so here the different category must be added the image of the category must be selected then the description about the category can be given here for the better understanding and the status must be selected as active and clicking on submit the category will be added and this can be viewed by clicking on farmer's kit view selling product category so here the various category of uh, equipments or uh, items that are available for the farmers can be viewed here and the admin can delete or edit these records and the farmer's kit in add farmer's kit so here we are actually adding the product by selecting the particular category so the category must be selected then name of the product must be entered and then the description of the product must be entered the image of the product is required so here five images of the product is required to be posted so click on choose file and then post the images 
then select the quantity type and the cost of the product and select the status is active and click on submit so now the selling product has been added we can view the farmers kit selling product what we have added here so these are the list of products that are available for the farmers and we can view the item what we have added just now the admin can also edit and delete these details in article setting under add article here the admin can add the articles while adding the articles the admin must select whether it is a blog or news then the date of publish must be selected then the title of the product uh, title of the blog the description about the blog that is so this is very important as the title will attract the uh, viewers then the description about the blog must be given the images related to the blog must be posted so here we can post five of the images the image one or the primary image will be appearing to view first then by scrolling we can view the other images by clicking on submit the article record will be inserted by clicking on view the articles we can view the different articles posted by the admin here the admin can also edit or delete the articles that has been posted now let us log out from the admin now let us log in as the farmer the farmer who is an existing farmer he can log in the new users must register so let us register as farmer the name of the farmer must be entered then the email id of the farmer is required the email id should be valid with the format fulfilling the email id then the password of the farmer must be entered and once the farmer's password is entered it must be confirmed the address of the farmer and the country must be selected once the country is selected it will fetch the state details and the state must be selected after selecting the state the city must be selected the pin code must be entered the contact number as well as the mobile number is of the farmer is required then the bank name the branch name ifsc code and bank account number must be entered so this is because the producers purchased by the customers and the payment made to the farmer will be added to the farmers account directly if it is a online payment so here the bank name branch name then uh, bank account number and ifsc code must be entered the ifsc code uh, it should be valid 11 characters so here i have entered one extra character so let us remove it and then we can login now let us login as the farmer so the farmer must login using the valid login credentials once the farmer logs in the dashboard is available to view and in my profile under update profile the farmer can make changes to their profile details if they wish to make any change in my profile under change password here the farmer can view the 
old password new password and confirm password must be entered and then they can click on change password so this will change the password of the farmer in my account under produce put your produce on sale here the farmer can put the producers on for sale by selecting the category then the produce and then the variety of the selected produce then the title must be entered once the title is entered the images must be posted so here also you have to post five images so once the images has been posted the quantity available must be entered and the type of the quantity must be entered then description about the produce can be given here the status must be selected as a active and the produce will be put for sale so this can be viewed and the farmer can edit and delete the details so if he wants to add more quantity or decrease the quantity that can be done here and the farm sales report in higher here the farmer can view the different laborers who are willing to work as per their salary also we can view and what work they can do also can be viewed here by downloading the bio data and viewing the bio data we can see the bio data has been downloaded then we can view it once we view the once the farmer views the bio data if the labor is a good labor or uh, the labor what he requires then he can request for working so here from date and till date must be entered this from which date to which date the farmer wants the worker to work then what work the farmer expects from the worker to do must be mentioned in the place of uh, work that is where the customer want to work all that must be entered so in view scheduled records here the farmer can view the customer uh, workers schedules if he is booked on certain dates that can be viewed if he is not booked then the farmer can book that particular worker so here from date till date then the task must be mentioned what work the farmer expects the worker to do and then the place of work that is in which country on which state in which city the work must be done or work is available then the payment amount that is how much payment the farmer is willing to give for the worker and what is the type of payment whether it is a wage or salary then any comments or note can be mentioned if the farmer wants the labor to know some any of the details then it can be mentioned so once the once clicking on submit the request will be sent so the request can be viewed here by clicking on view if the customer has uh, approved or not that can be viewed here so the seller has approved the customer's comment status is still pending that is customer has not reacted or he has not viewed the request in farmer panel we can view the pending request that is made by the farmer and the farmer's kit the farmer can view the different equipments that are available and if it is required for required for the farmer then they can purchase it by viewing it in detail so here the product can be viewed in detail by clicking on add to cart the product will be added to cart once the product is added to cart the farmer can change the quantity how many pieces he needs if he doesn't if he requires only one then he can confirm the order so here the pin code must be entered then the amount of payment type must be selected so let us select on cash on delivery then click on complete payment so here on clicking complete payment order will be placed along with the order the print can be bill uh, 
the bill can be printed and the delivery details also can be viewed here in farmers report in product purchase report the products that has been purchased by the farmers themselves can be viewed and the bills also can be viewed by the farmer here so now let us log out from the farmer now let us log in as the worker the new worker must make the registration the existing worker can log in directly now let us see the worker's registration the worker must register by entering their name followed by their email id the email id should be valid once the email id is entered the password and confirm password must be entered the password must be minimum 8 characters of length the password and confirm password must match the address of the worker must be entered and then country state and city of the worker must be selected the pin code also must be entered then the contact number is also required the bio data of the worker must be uploaded so that it will help the farmers to know more about the workers once the bio data is updated the work profile must be entered that is what is the experience the worker has got the date of birth and expected salary of the worker is also required as this will help the farmers to know the age of the worker as to decide whether they can do the work that is expected by the farmer then the expected salary based on the salary of the worker the farmer can decide whether he can afford to pay the amount requested by the worker by clicking on click here to register the worker's account will be registered and they can log in using the login panel but here let us log in as the old worker whom the farmer has already requested so once the worker logs in we can view the dashboard which includes the details of the worker in my profile here the worker can make changes to their profile details they can update their profiles and in change password here the worker can make changes to their password details under view your jobs here the worker can view the various requests he has got in the status that is whether he has approved it rejected it or not updated it so now we can view the request made by the farmer here we can see the seller account that is seller status is approved the worker can approve reject or keep it on pending so here the status is approved and the request of the farmer is accepted by the worker here in work schedule we can view the calendar where the work approved schedule of the worker is available to view now let us log out from the worker and let us log in as the farmer the farmer can log in using the email id and the password of their account click on click here so we can view the dashboard and in the workers request calendar we can view the approved details and uh, we can also view the conversations or approved status of the worker the farmer can also enter the comments now let us log out from the farmer and let us log in as the customer the customer can log in if he is an existing customer the new customers must make the registration so here to make the registration the name of the customer email id must be entered then the password and confirm password must be entered 
then the address country state and city must be selected then pin code contact number and mobile number is required and type of customer must be selected so here the mobile number must contain only 10 characters the customer type can be consumer retailer or wholesaler once the customer is registered successfully they can log in using the login panel by entering their email address and password Clicking on click here to login, the customer's dashboard is available to view. In farmer's kit, the customer can view the various products or equipments and if he wishes to purchase then he can click to add to cart and in the cart he can add the quantity of item he requires. We can see as the quantity is entered the price will be updated automatically and if the customer doesn't want to purchase then you can delete it otherwise you have to click on confirm your order and here the payment type must be entered so whether the payment is card type or cash on delivery if it is card payment then the card details must be entered so here card type must be selected then the card number CVV number and expiry date must be mentioned. By clicking on complete payment, the payment will be made and order will be placed successfully. Under my account, in farmer's kit purchase report here the customer can view the purchases they made from the farmer's kit and the bill also can be available to view here in farmer's market the various producers of the customers is available to view the customer can select the country select the state and then the city and by this they can choose the products or producers which is nearby to them or from which state they want to purchase by clicking on view more the details of the produce can be viewed and if the customer wants to purchase then they have to enter the quantity that is how much they want to purchase and if they have got any notes then they can be entered or typed here and this will give by clicking on click here to send purchase request this will send a request to the farmer that is the customer wants to purchase the produce under view purchase request the customer can view the request they made to the customer to the farmer if they doesn't want to purchase then they can click on delete so we can see the status is pending now let us log out from customer and now let us log in as the farmer that is because the farmer has to accept the request made from the customer so by entering the email id and password the customer the farmer can you know, log in under view sales purchase request so here the request status is pending the cost is not entered by clicking on send quotation the farmer can enter the price they wish to sell the produce for how much price that must be mentioned here this purchase order will be sent to the customer under farm sales report in view purchase order we can view the order made by the farmer and the status is pending once the customer makes the payment the status will be approved or active now let us log out and log in as the customer to confirm the order click on existing user and the email id and the password must be entered
so here in farmers market view purchase order where we can view the order of the farmer by clicking on make payment if the customer wants to purchase then he can make the payment otherwise he can just leave it as it is so here the payment must be made by entering the payment type card holders name card number expired date cvv number the payment amount is automatically generated this cannot be changed by the customer once the payment is done the bill is generated the amount will be sent to the farmer's account the customer's address is available to view in the bill to which the delivery of the produce has to be done in farmer's market under purchase bill receipt we can view the bill receipt under update profile here the customer can make changes to their profile details and in change password the customer can make changes to their password details now let us log out from the customer and let us log in as a farmer the farmer will log in using the email id and password this is to confirm the order made by the customer so in under sales report in purchase billing report so here we can view the amount paid by the customer and this bill can be printed let us log out from the farmer so this is about the project agri trade thank you for watching the video for further queries kindly visit our web page thank you